Hey guys, welcome to the next tutorial of ethical hacking and penetration testing via Kali Linux. So in the previous tutorials, uh, we uh, saw lots of things as to what exactly a DDoS attack. I gave you two different scenarios of one of the bus and other of the multiplayer online game of swimming pool as to what exactly DDoS attacks are, how they can be performed and I also showed you different ways as to how we can go ahead and stop them. But there's nothing much when a person already has much we can do in case of DDoS attacks. And the second thing is that if the person who is actually DOSing your machine if you already has access to a computer, there's no way to prevent that until unless you are Julian Assange or Kevin Mitnick or uh, David Kennedy and these are the uh, most dangerous hackers of all time. The only way you could go ahead and save your data was to will be to just go ahead and disconnect your computer or the wire or cable connection from your computer and stop your computer from actually uh, let's say overloading itself or the machines and just one thing that if uh, the person who's actually tossing your machine if he has good amount of uh, uh, knowledge in programming and electrical programming uh, that is the hardware programming then he can even uh, write software that could DOS your hardware that could actually go ahead and uh, let's say overload your the power or the voltage to your hardware uh, uh, hardware inside your system and it can even go ahead for it also your hardware which may not even start anytime soon it seems scary it is scary and there's no way to prevent it but uh, the only thing that you can do to go ahead and prevent yourself would be to stay vigilant all the times so now coming back to our point of cal linux we will go ahead and check as to how we can go ahead and uh, how we can go ahead and actually do some kind of different attacks so we can either attack a server or a website uh, or even a computer so today uh, as i don't have a website that i can go ahead and dos to or else i would go to jail if i go ahead and uh, do dos some random uh, website i cannot do that but i would be showing you as to how we can go ahead and do that in multiple ways the first thing would be that uh, i will assume that we already have access to the person's computer and uh, if I already have that and I quickly want to DDO, uh, DOS attack the computer, uh, I cannot actually go ahead and let's say uh, wait uh, or take my own time, sweet time to go ahead and DOS a computer since it would take quite a time to go ahead and uh, let's say uh, send multiple packets to a computer. It will take at the minimum of approximately 3 to 4 minutes for me to do that. So what I could do is I can go ahead and write down a script in specific. I'll show you as to how I can go ahead and do that. So I wrote this script previously and it, it was in batch format. So I wrote this script previously and I'll t I explain this to you as to how exactly this works. This is that, um, uh, that means A, go ahead and start a command prompt in a bash and uh, then start it. Then I can go back to it. So this will keep on looping itself till till forever because there's no stop to it even you cannot go ahead and close no matter what you do no matter what kind of antivirus you have or no matter what you do it will not stop uh until uh yeah there's no way to stop it even if you have like 8 jb of ram it will keep on continuing and because i'll show you i'll just go ahead and start my task manager at the same point of time and i'll show you that how exactly this process keep on multiplying itself and there's no way to stop it and so this is one way as to did a computer this is not actually dosing your computer uh, in a professional manner, but this is how you can do if you don't have any time. This is the newbiest way that uh, a person can do. Uh, let's say for example, you already have a interpreter prompt with you. I'll just go ahead and start my Cal Linux at the same time. Uh, okay, yes. So uh, if you have access to the computer's machine, then you can go ahead and open the command prompt and uh, or you can go ahead and simply transfer the batch file from your Linux computer to Windows 7 over here and start the batch file. Uh, but the computer, uh, but the person who is actually on the computer can see that the batch file is running. So uh, he may or may not be able to go ahead and stop the service at that point of time. And again, I'm saying he may not be able to because most of the time he will not be able to. But he, he if he is something like uh, uh, the uh, Robert Downey Jr from the Iron Man or Tony Stark uh, or multi uh, let's say to be he has an extremely strong computer let's say like 32 GB of RAM so this will take lots of time and I'll show you exactly how this works before I go ahead and uh, explain this to you as to how this works I double click it click it and see as you can see I cannot even right click to my computer and my computer has gone for a toss and there's no way I can stop it as far as I, I know no matter what you do I, do, I will have to forcefully close this and 
So this is one way of doing that. Just go ahead and plug out the power if you are and it will work. But that's the only way that you can do that. So if you have already access to your machine uh, that you have already gained access to your target computer, you can simply transfer this file which you already have written in Kali Linux. Just transfer this batch file to Windows and run it. Uh, but the person will know that this is running and he may be able to do something. That is one thing. There's also one more method. There are two different methods that we can go ahead and use uh, to actually attack the person without him knowing that. And I'll just go ahead and start my Kali Linux. The other way is that we, uh, instead of going ahead and opening a reverse uh, meter meter or you can also do that just go ahead and open a shell prompt and run this uh, simple uh, prompt uh, via uh, Kali Linux through the command prompt which is which would be invisible to the user at that point of time his computer will suddenly hang in between and it won't uh, work actually. So I'll go ahead and show you as to how exactly it will look like. So I'll just go ahead and quickly create a payload over here and I'll just copy the uh, this batch file or I'll just assume that uh, okay I'll just first create this payload and transfer it over here and social engineering toolkit mass may load and I'll just go down this is my IP address we can use either the Windows TCP shell re uh, reverse attacker which will create a command shell or you can go ahead and use a meterpreter. I would normally use a meterpreter the reason being that I, uh, what I could do is I can ga go ahead and uh, use anything that I want or gain all the system files to my computer, gain access to all of those things and after I have all the files that I need I will go ahead and crash the computer. So this file will be created and I will just go ahead and stop my defender for the time being. Is it updating? Okay, perfect. So my defender is off. Perfect. And I believe my virus has been created and I'll start the listener over here. Yeah, let me check my payload. It is in the SET home directory. So while the MSF console starts, it will take quite a time. I'll just go to the root and uh, CT and okay this is not the one I was looking for probably just uh, just go back to my root folder file system user share set okay it's taking quite a while share Okay, we have the SCT and here we have our payload file. So I'll just copy it and paste it over here. Okay. Okay. I'll just turn this off and I'll just uh, my Cal Linux. Okay. Um, the okay I should be able to copy that payload file over here perfect and I'll just cut it and paste it over here so I'll just assume that you have sent this file uh, somehow to your attacker and he has accepted it I'll just go ahead and start at the payload and my connection over here will be started session hyphen L Okay, it should be sessions hyphen L, sorry, sessions hyphen I hyphen one. I have a meter printer, so I'll just go ahead and open the shell prompt and I am on desktop. So I would do is that I want to go ahead and run this file test.bat. So I'll just go ahead and type it over here. So I'll just type uh, I don't know exactly how it does. Test period BAT, I believe. And yep, the file has started and as you can see uh, it's again gone into a big loop and the person will not even know. So this is one way of actually going ahead and doing that. Again, I'll just force close this. And I'll open it once more. 
as you can see that this file is not yet corrupted the reason being that it is on desktop and I purposely did that but if this file was in system uh, windows uh, system32 folder and you actually link this to some of the system32 files by a bit simpler simpler coding and uh, then you can actually go ahead and destroy the system files and the person will not be even be able to recover all those things I'll just go ahead and stop this background channel no and I'm back to my original place So this is one way of doing going ahead and attacking the Kali Linux. I'll go ahead and temporarily delete that because I don't want to accidentally do that once more and this as well. Okay, so that is it for this tutorial. In the next tutorial, I'll teach you how we can go ahead and DOS this machine and without actually the person knowing that I have executed something. So that's it for this tutorial and let's go ahead and take a look at next tutorial as to how we can actually DOS a person without actually running something on his computer.